Hello and welcome along to Mondo Cello Vet Movies. My name is John and this video is going to be a review of Dog Soldiers. Now I watched this the other night and I'll give you my thoughts on what I thought about in a moment. But first of all, this is a spectacular release from Second Sight. As all their 4Ks when they put them out, they put a lot of work into it. It's funny when you, you hear about Second Sight doing a movie, it seems to be talked about a long time before it's like actually released, which makes which makes me think they're doing a really good version of this movie in the background so in this box in this hard box which is brilliant you do get some R cards there so the R cards are that's the cover of the, the box this is a great great cover that that would have made a great cover actually you've got that scene there if you see these cards here you get a bit of a, an idea of what the picture quality is like actually there's a werewolf there, great werewolves in this. Yeah. You do get this huge booklet, which is Dog Soldiers Field Notes. And in here, you get well, basically everything you ever wanted to know about Dog Soldiers is all in there with some amazing effects. You've got, you've got some great pattern between these blokes, these, these soldiers. They've got some amazing sort of ways to go it's actually if you were sort of in a in an army situation and you did think that this was the kind of way that army people will go on with each other like a gang of lads will go on with each other and they've got this amazing sort of like i say when you when you hear it, it's just all this like jargon that they come out with all this banter and it, it's great that that's in this this movie and the characters in here are absolutely they're all absolutely brilliant i don't imagine they could have got a better cast if they even wanted to it's it's just perfection i think that they couldn't have picked anybody better for these parts also you get the discs here which are housed in this like say digi pack you get your 4k and you get your your blu-ray as well so and that's a that's a great picture as well so the synopsis says on a routine training mission to the scottish highlands a small squad of british soldiers come across the bloody remains of a special forces team with a sole survivor they soon discover the savage attackers are werewolves, and at the, as the full moon rises, they have a long night and the fight of their lives ahead of them. Exactly that. And it's got lots of extras there. I'll put that up there and see if you can freeze frame that and see what you've got. It's got some stunning stuff in here, and it's in the packaging as well. It's, it's amazing. So, when I watched this, I put this on, and dark and night, I thought, right, lights off the whole thing. I want to get the full uh, benefit of this movie. And I had an absolute blast with this movie. This is one of the best movies I've seen in a long time. To be honest, everybody said it's a good movie. And I didn't dispute that. And I thought, but when I first saw it, I was so underwhelmed, probably by the picture. I just can't remember even getting through it. I don't know why. And nothing in this movie came back to me. So when I watched it, it was basically watching it for the first time. And I'm so glad I got it and watched it. Because this is one of the best werewolf movies you'll see. Also, it's got the other element of the, the whole crew. This, uh, this this cracked team who are on a, like a training mission and um, you, you see them in the band they've got that's that's a movie in itself the the, the way that this movie is shot it's kind of it I think it's really good that it's been shot in the Scottish Highlands I think because you're out in this in this place where it's kind of there's nothing around and there's a lot more to it than that it's not as if it's just that and nothing else it's got some backstory in here which I find uh, to be quite interesting as well so this movie's got a few layers and it's got a lot of rewatchability. I can't add to it that Deborah, when I watched this, says, you've got to see this movie. And she's like, yeah, that's as well. Just bear with it because I think you'll get a. I think she likes things like special forces and all that. So I think she'll enjoy it for that reason. But I think that she'll uh, get a blast out of this movie in general. So I, I thought this movie was stunning and I can't wait to watch it again. I started watching the extras on here. I didn't get too far in it because uh, the director, Neil Marshall, he was talking about Dog Soldiers and how he got into making it. And then he started talking about his other movies, The, the Descent, which I haven't watched yet. So I thought, well, I can't go any further in this. But I am going to start watching the extras on here. And I do want to watch this movie quite soon again because I'm so, it's so, well, I always, I've always heard that this movie is presented in a really bad sort of fashion. It's always been very, whatever you picked it up on DVD, 4K, it's always been a bit awful. So for some reason they've been able to find second sight who seem to be good at this uh, they have found the original negatives the super 16 millimeter which has got a higher resolution than 16 millimeter and you can tell off this movie 
I put this on, and to be honest, I had a great time this movie. I didn't think this movie could look any better. Uh, I think that this movie looks sensational in 4K. And it didn't come across dark to me. It didn't come across grainy to me. It just came across really perfect. Maybe I had the, the setting set on me on me, me 4K player on my TV was set in a good way for it. But it really showed this movie off to be what it was, just an absolute... It's it's one of those movies where you hear about all the time, and you, sometimes you might say, well, these movies got a bit of a reputation, and you go and watch them, you think, well, what the, what's people talking about? It's absolute rubbish, or it's just not my cup of tea, or it's not really a good movie. But I've got to say, this movie is everything that people talk about. It's a great movie, and if you haven't seen this movie yet, like I really hadn't, I had it, but I never really took any notice of it, do go out and get this. Get the 4K, because the 4K is sensational, and it's well worth the money. Don't let the fact that it was shot in 16mm put it off, put you off, because, to be honest, this is the best looking 16mm movie I've ever seen. And if other movies were like this, 16mm, it was super 16mm, maybe worthwhile in the future. If you see one coming out, and they talk about 16mm, just go in the new movie database and check to see if it was shot in super 16mm. And then you can get a flavour to think, well, they could have a really good presentation on their hands. So, to recap, I had a blast with this movie. I recommend this movie to anybody. I can't think that this movie could have looked any better. It sounded fantastic as well. The sound was always... It was just... It was a thrill. And uh, I'm so glad I've seen it. I'm so glad I've got it in this in this package because I haven't... Well, I've probably owned it cheap on, on DVD somewhere. And this is going to be my only time I'm going to buy this movie. So I didn't mind paying a bit extra for me. It's a special edition. Then I've got it. And I buy it. It's nice to know that you're going to buy something once, buy it good, buy it once, and then you're done. You don't have to go and look for any other, any other. I don't think this movie is, is going to be is going to be topped by anybody. So it's not as if you say, "Well, that was all right," but I'm sure there's going to be a better one coming out. It's got all these extras on. It's got all this fantastic presentation. So this, to me, is the zenith of this movie, and I'm never get topped in any way. And I can rest assured that I've paid me money for it, and then I'm done. And I can move on to something else, which is a good feeling because half the time when you get some movies these days, you think that's that's good. But I know there's going to be a better one coming out. And I think a lot of these boutique labels do usually give you the, the be all and end all first time around usually. And you don't have to go hunting for the next one. And I don't think this I will be hunting for another dog soldiers. I'm so pleased to get this one. Highly, highly recommended. And I think this is a stupendous addition. I think is well worth the money. So thanks for watching. You take care. And I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.